So this right here is the Realme GT Neo 3T. And today, if you're gonna unlock the bootloader on this device so that we can continue flashing custom ROMs, installing a bunch of other stuff and things like those. Now, mind you, this guide will work for Realme devices which are eligible for bootloader unlock. And a part of this guide will also work for nothing phone devices and it'll also work for OnePlus devices. Watch the video till the end because it's going to be very interesting and very useful for you while you own a phone from any of these three brands. Hello everyone, my name is Kala. You're watching Phone Ops. We make amazing tech content like this every single day. So please subscribe, share it with your friends. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. Let's get going. All right. First things first, we're going to talk about the things that you actually need. You, of course, need a Realme GT Neo 3T or a device that is compatible with un unlocking. You know, I mean, a bunch of Realme devices are allowed and a bunch of Realme devices are not. So make sure your device is eligible for unlocking. Secondly, make sure you backed up all the information on your phone because everything is going to be wiped. OK, once you have these two in place, also ensure that your phone is more than 50 percent charged. All right. Now, now, once you've taken care of these three things, the most important thing again is a Realme UI version. You should be on the latest Realme UI version because the latest unlock method works with the latest Realme UI version only. So on the phone front, you guys are fine, but now you need a USB cable. So I would highly recommend you to use the original USB cable supplied by your device's manufacturer. You will of course need a PC or a laptop powered by Windows because without that bootloader unlock is not possible. Last but not the least, for Realme devices, you will need an APK file which is free linked in the description and this APK linked in the description is for the GT Neo 3T and you will also need platform tools. So all of that is linked in the description and all of the same things are mentioned over here as well. Now we are all set to go ahead and unlock the bootloader. So we need to make a few changes to the device. The moment you go to the device, you need to go to about phone. OK, and you need to go to version. Over here, you will find something called as build number. So tap on that seven times and you will have developer mode enabled. OK, now once developer mode is enabled, go back and go to additional settings. Over here, you will find developer options. OK, under developer options, this option would ideally be, you know, off. So go ahead and turn it on. That is enable OEM unlocking. All right. Now, once that is done, also make sure you enable USB debugging. In some scenarios, you might be asked to enter your lock screen password or pin code. So go ahead and do that. There is nothing to worry about that. Now, as far as the phone is concerned, we are ready. Once again, I would remind you, please back up all your data because in the excitement of installing a custom ROM, don't lose your valuable pictures and music. OK, now once all of that is taken care of, we need to move to the computer because there are a few things we need to do on the PC as well. First thing to ensure here is that you have platform tools extracted to a folder. You know, again, it is directly by Google. So just go ahead and download it and extract it. Second thing to note, make sure that your device is detected on the computer in fast boot mode. To do this, you need to ensure that your drivers are installed. You know, that's a different guide altogether, but you can search on Google. You will easily be able to do that. Windows 10 or 11, anything should be OK. All right. Now we have the folders extracted. We have the device ready. So what do we need to do next? Download the APK to the phone. In my case, I've downloaded it already and it is there in the file manager. So let's actually go to files here. And as you can see, deep test RUI 4.apk and I have also installed it. So in this case, let's go to deep testing. The moment you open the app, it will ask you, do you want to apply? The moment you click on apply, you will get a check mark for terms and conditions. Agree to that and click on apply now. After that, you need to wait for 10 to 15 minutes. In my case, you know, it's showing exit because I've already applied to make other videos, but that's OK. After say five to 10 minutes, maximum 15 minutes, you will get this option query approval status. As you can say, application approved. Once the application is approved, you need to click on start deep testing. OK, at this point, the device will boot into fast boot mode. Now, this APK method was specifically for Realme devices. The method that we are going to follow from here. OK, whatever we're going to do, connect to the computer and enter the command and all that stuff. It works for nothing. OnePlus and Realme phones. The Realme phone's difference is only the deep test APK. Now, as you can see, we are in a locked state and it says start. That means we are in the bootloader menu. So what we need to do now is connect the USB cable. 
Okay, so let's quickly go ahead and connect the cable here. All right, looks like our cable is connected. Your device or your laptop or computer should give you a you know sound prompt that the device is connected. One way to check that is go to the device manager and at the top you will find something called as Android phone. As you can see over here, Android phone is listed, which means my device is connected. Now, this is my platform tools folder. Okay. Now in the platform tools folder, there'll be an address bar at the top. Click here and just type in C M D and hit enter. All right. Now we are in the command directory of fast boot. So first let's type in fast boot space devices. This is one more way to find out if your device is connected. Yes, my device is connected. Now there are two commands to unlock the bootloader on your phone. The first command is fastboot OEM unlock. 99% of the time, this command will work absolutely fine. In case this doesn't work, there is another command which I will show you and it is simple fastboot flashing unlock. So instead of OEM, you have to type flashing. So we will try fastboot OEM unlock okay and hit enter okay now you will get this prompt on your phone's display that do you want to unlock the bootloader or not you can use the volume up button to highlight unlock the bootloader and you can use the power button to confirm your choice bam the moment you do this everything will be wiped the device will reboot and your bootloader is unlocked okay at this point you can choose to disconnect the cable that's completely fine. We don't need the cable anymore and the phone will be wiped and will boot back to the respective operating system that it was on. In this case, it should be on stock ROM. Now there is a similar way to go ahead and lock the bootloader as well. And why would you want to lock the bootloader you ask? Well, there are multiple scenarios if you want to take it to service. Ideally, there shouldn't be a problem, but I would recommend, you know, lock the bootloader and take it to the service center. If you're giving the phone to a family member, brother, sister, friend, you might want to keep it on stock software and give it to them. If you're selling the phone, you might want to, you know, lock the bootloader and sell it off because at times unlocked bootloader devices might get less value. So there are multiple reasons why you would want to relock the bootloader as well. Okay, now we will wait for this device to boot completely and then I will show you how to go ahead and relock the bootloader. So we've booted into the home screen after unlocking the bootloader and at this point, so let's go to settings here, go to about device and once again go to version. Okay, under version, tab build number seven times once again, developer mode has been enabled and go to additional settings and go to developer options once again. Now at this time, we don't need to do anything with the OEM unlock thing. Okay, you just need to make sure USB debugging is enabled. Okay, now let me tell you while your device's bootloader is unlocked, if you long press volume down and power, you keep it pressed, you will boot into fast boot mode, but not when the device is locked. Okay, now in that case, what you need to do is there is a command through which you can boot into fast boot to relock the bootloader. So for that, we will actually go ahead and connect the device to the computer once again. And in the case of Realme devices, put it to file transfer mode. So you should get a USB debugging pop up. Okay, for a permission. If you don't get that, you just need to type this command ADB space devices. Hit enter. You should get a prompt here. There you go. Always allow the computer. Hit allow. Now you need to type in ADB reboot bootloader. Okay, now let's hit enter. Bam. The device is now booting into the bootloader. Once again, the same rule applies. Even when you're locking, that means re-locking your bootloader, you need to ensure that your data is backed up because once again, everything will be wiped for security reasons. We are in the bootloader now. As you can see, it shows it is unlocked. So we will type in fast boot space flashing lock. Instead of unlock, we're going to type in lock. Okay, so let's hit enter. Once again, you will get this prompt. So use the volume keys to highlight the option which says lock the bootloader and hit the power button and bam, that warning that you were getting of unlock bootloader is now gone. You can disconnect the cable from here and we are done. 
So it's much easier compared to how it is on Xiaomi devices. A little complicated compared to nothing and OnePlus devices because with them, you just need to make sure drivers are installed, connect to the computer, type in fastboot OEM, fastboot OEM lock or fastboot flashing unlock you are done okay so this was a complete step-by-step -step guide to lock and unlock the bootloader on any realme nothing or oneplus device let me know in the comment section if you want to see more guides like this i'll see you in the next one keep smiling take care goodbye